and my 15 year old it was there to speak upon himself and to let the judge know, you know, that he doesn't want to get adopted and he wants to come home to mom. Um, how long does that take or what does he have to do or, or what do we have to do in order to get him home now? Davis, and I'm on with our co-host, Aaron Carranza. Aaron, we're coming to the end of the show. You want to take one last call? Sure. We have Valerie from Arizona. Valerie, do you have a question? Ask our story to tell. I have a question, two questions up there. Um, so, my case started back in uh, March of 2020, and I already gone through my 12-month review, and I recently had another one after my 12 month review. I recently had one on the 26th of May. So, you know, um, we're all thinking, you know, that we're going to go to our reunification because reunification was originally for, um, set for March 30th of this year. So, since it didn't happen then, um, we thought it was going to happen on the 26th of May. But, um, it didn't happen and my 15 year old was there to speak upon himself and to let the judge know, you know, that he doesn't want to get adopted and he wants to come home to mom. Um, how long does that take or what does he have to do or, or what do we have to do in order to get him home now? Okay, so you're in, you're in Arizona? Yeah, I'm in Tucson. Okay, so I'm licensed in California. I'm not an Arizona attorney, so I'm going to answer that question uh, as if you were in California, okay? Okay. All right. So when is your next court hearing? My next court hearing is set for August 24th. Do you know what type of hearing it is? I don't. Okay. I've actually spoken to you before about my uh, case already, uh, and it's just like the whole, it's a really big mess up thing, and um, once in a while I still, I still talk to Georgetta. Okay. Um, but, but, but here's, here's the thing. You can't be confused about this. We're talking okay. about your child or children, right? right. And uh -huh. you, can't, you can't tell me, hey, I'm confused. You need to talk to your lawyer, okay? Yes. You need, yes. You need to get unconfused about the situation so that you yeah. guys can come up with a strategy, mm -hmm. you know, witnesses, exhibits. Yeah, other and I did follow that. Um you know, because you did give me that advice the last time, and also to uh, change my judge. I tried doing both things, and they told me that at this point I can't change neither one of them. Is that true? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, only okay. because it's Arizona law. Right. Um, but that's something you definitely should be talking to your attorney about. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I have, and it's just getting nowhere. And, you know, at this point, I also looking for a new attorney, but at this point I've lost, like, the, you know, looking for one because since they told me that at this point it's already really far into the case and that I can't change my judge or my attorney. Okay, so you might not be able to change your judge, but you can change your attorney. And okay. You, and you are going to have to, you know, Go on Google. You're going to have to let your fingers do the walking through the yellow pages. You're going to have to call, 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 and call. Yeah. Until you find okay. someone that can help you in your area. I think you mentioned Tucson or wherever you are. You know? Yeah. Okay. I have been reaching out to um, your guys. There's a, I think it's called Roblox or Ro something. I forgot what it's called, but um, there's this other place that I've been calling, you know, and just literally just looking for another attorney. Um, another well, question let, I have really quick. Wait, hold on, let me ask you. I know you're, Are you? I know you're in California, but um, if I know for a fact that placement is, um, placement told my 15-year-old, actually, that 
but her mother was um, just recently got out of prison due, due to drug trafficking and money laundering. Um, how, what can we do about that? Because my four-year-old is with um, this one lady, but she's not, um, she's not a relative, and she's barely going to get her foster care license. So at this point, I'm just really confused about all of that because I thought they had to have the foster care license already. But um, she literally you know, confessed to my 15 year old that her mother was just recently in prison. And from my knowledge, I know that they're supposed to do background checks on every adult just in the household. Okay, what's the question, though? My question is, what can I do about rem <clears throat> removing my four-year-old and my 13-year-old, I'm sorry, my 14-year-old from this lady's house, you know, knowing that her mother is, um, is in, you know, she's been a dangerous, uh, how do I say it? It's not safe for them to be around her. Well, if, well, if you have evidence that they're not safe, you know, other than, you know, you got to have more than a gut feeling, right? You should file a complaint, right, at the state or local level. But, you know, you should get your children with a family friend or a relative. And that's something you got to talk to your attorney about, how to do that, or the best way to do that. Yeah, I actually mentioned to him, actually, um, literally five minutes before the court, I told him, you know, remember to please let them know that she's not a relative, and I want them to move from there. And he said, okay, I will, I will, let, them, I will let the judge know. But then he didn't even mention anything about her not being a relative. And still, on paper, it's still well, saying you, that she's a relative. Well, let me tell you what, you know, what the Vince Davis strategy is. You make a list of 25 relatives and family friends. It doesn't matter where they live. They can live in California, they can live in New York, they can live in, uh, you know, London, England. Doesn't matter. Make that list, names, address, telephone number, of people that could, I didn't say would, that could take the child or children. Give that list to your attorney and also email it to your social worker. Okay, at my first meeting, on my first when my case Two minutes. They actually asked me for 25 people, and, and I wrote them down as well as the lady that were asking for them at the time. Mm -hmm. She wrote it down as well on the, on the board, mm -hmm. and you know, neither one of them, neither one of those 25 people, um, you know, have my kids right now. And there's actually five people on that list that are willing to take my, uh, to take my kids. Okay, Valerie. And, Valerie, yeah. hold on. My engineer told me we're running out of time. Listen. Okay. Make the list, email it to your social worker and to your attorney, and tell them, I want my kids placed in one of these homes. Okay. E email it so there'll be a record. Okay. Oh, yeah. I email everything and, and okay. record everything. Hey, Valerie, I want you to call back in three or four weeks. Let us know what's going on. I want to thank you for listening, and thank you for calling in and sharing your story about your case. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Thank you. God bless you. Uh -huh. Aaron, we've come to the end of this show. Anything you want to uh, ask me real quick before we run out of time? Um, yeah, can you give me the details about um, the, you're talking about people being a captain in their area for a protest. Can you give the, the listeners more information if they didn't hear you in the beginning of the you know, what we're going to do, we're going to do a Facebook Live this week a couple of times. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tape it. We'll play it a couple of times this week and get this thing rolling.